What's up guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make an awesome string making jig just like this one because you don't wanna settle for a lousy one with a bunch of nails and a piece of wood that's just gonna cause you frustration. You're gonna want an awesome one, so stick around so you can see how to make it. What's up guys? Thank you for joining me. Now this old string jig was really not that bad functionally. I just did not like the way that it looked and I wanted to show you guys how to make one. I find if we make things that are of high quality we tend to take care, better care of it and when we take better care of it it lasts a lot longer. So I'm gonna use the same dimensions as this old string jig but I'm gonna make a new one that's a lot nicer and that gives me more of a fizz when I use it and when I look at it. So I start off by taking a piece of plywood and measuring it out to cut it down to the same size as this old one, which is 28 inches long and 3 and 7 eighths inches wide. What this string jig will allow you to do is to get consistent, repeatable results while making Flemish twist bowstrings. It saves so much time when making a bowstring and it saves all the math and guesswork out of it. All you've got to do is do the math once to make this jig and then you are good to go. I went ahead and rounded over the quarters here with a round over bit in my router to make it as smooth as possible so that when I have the jig in my lap and in my hands there's no sharp corners. It makes it easy and smooth to work with. The layout of the string jig is quite simple. On one side you're going to have two nails at the very end, one inch in from the side and one inch in from the corner. And then on the opposite side you're going to have one single nail centered in the board but one inch in from the end. I use dowels instead of nails for this jig. Now if you use nails, I would recommend using roofing nails. Those work pretty good and are very cheap. After you get these three locations marked, you're going to want to draw a line right up the center of the board. This is going to give you a reference line to keep all your holes in line. You're going to measure up seven inches from the side with the one nail hole. And you're going to go every inch from seven inches all the way up to 22 inches. These are the holes that allow you to adjust the length of your bowstring. Now that you've got the three first nail holes marked out and then all the ones up the center marked out, you're going to go down to the end with one nail hole and you're going to measure in from both sides one inch and you're going to draw vertical lines down there to give you reference points. Then you're going to go down to the end and measure in three inches. You're going to mark from three inches every half inch up until you have eight marks on both of those vertical lines you just drew. At this point we've got the entire jig marked out. So if you're going to use nails, go ahead and start nailing in your nails in every location you marked. If you're going to use dowels like me, I just used a nail to kind of punch where I wanted to pre-drill so that I could try to keep my lines as straight as possible. Then I cut all the dowels out with a hacksaw and this keeps the dowels from splitting. I cut them at one and a half inches except for one dowel. I cut at two inches. Now the one dowel at two inches is going to be the dowel that you move to different holes up the middle of the board to adjust the length of your string. The rest of the dowels we're going to glue in so that they are stationary. I used a piece of tape on my drill bit so that I could drill the same distance into each piece of wood so that all my dowels would be the same height. I drilled all of the holes out and then after I drilled them out I used sandpaper just to clean up the corners and the edges to make it look nice. Then one of my concerns was that the bowstring would slip up and over the dowel as I'm wrapping it around the dowels. So I decided to go ahead and sand in a curve into each one to kind of almost make them look like little chess pieces. But I think this will allow the bowstring to stay on a lot better.
drilled a bunch of holes into a scrap piece of plywood so that I could stick all the dowels into it so that it would be easier to paint. I just spray painted every single dowel white and as those were drying I went ahead and decided to stain the board because I'm trying to make this project look nice and feel nice. All that was left is to glue the dowels in that need glued in. And so I went ahead and on the two on the one end, glued that one in, glue in the third one, the one on the other end, and then all the ones really close together on the end with one nail hole you're gonna glue in. All the ones dead at the center, no glue. Those are the ones that are used for adjustment. And that's where the two inch dowel goes. And there you guys have it, an awesomely finished string making jig. Now if you want to see how to use this and how to make it good, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button because I'm about to show you how to make an awesome Flemish twist bowstring that will last you a lifetime.